Hello there, boys and girls of the internet. I'm trying to get some light going on in here. It's awfully dark. Uh, we're gonna sit down at my Kishon table and we're gonna install some new parts on the Trail 125s. But before you can do all that, and if I haven't made you motion sick yet, Bud Light always does like a limited edition thing because they're appealing to their audience. And uh, I don't have a pocket knife. Where's my pocket knife? Anyway. So, uh, during the fall and stuff for hunting season, they do a camouflage can. It's camo with the orange ring for hunter high, visi high visibility gear. And then for right now, going into summer, they're doing a, a can with a uh, fish on it. And apparently there's multiple different cans that have different fish on it. Uh, it's, I guess, just some kind of bass. No, this is backwards, I bet. It says walleye. So we got us a walleye. But anyway, me being me, I saw the can and uh, I normally drink the regular bush beer, but they apparently are just doing the fancy cans for uh, bush light. So just got home from work. Now, let's install some parts on the Trail 125. So among the things that I have ordered, I have installed a couple of them already, including the center rack. This is a USB and Type-C. Come on, Jay. God darn it, are you stupid? There you go. There we go. So it's Type-C and Quick Charge 3.0. This is gonna go down actually to have wheels installed right there you can see it there's a factory spot for you to put it uh, i already like i said installed it on the wheels and i have one for cody's and i have one for mine so here are the other two the first one wheel ordered for himself well i ordered him he ordered the incorrect thing so it wouldn't work got the japanese style connector instead of the american and in this box is something I'm super excited about. So I don't know if I can. Woo, quit moving. So in here. That's uh, Bova Max. They're the ones that make the cell phone holder that we are using because it's a full case holder. Uh, it'll fit otter boxes, everything guaranteed not to fall out, and they're cheap. So instead of spending a crap ton of money on the RAM mounts, because they were like 70, 80 bucks, some of them were over 90, I think, even on Amazon. Uh, this guy right here is like 25, and uh, let's show you what it looks like. This is it here, and you can see it's got like a full enclosure. You pull the bottom down, the top opens up, your phone goes in it and it holds it. It's very tight. I like the fit of it. It's black compared to, this is the Ram mount X grip that my brother William bought. And it does like a, a weird springy action thing. And then it's just got these little rubber. I don't know. I was not a fan of, of that. So went with the cheaper one that had good reviews and I'm impressed. I'll throw a link in the description down below for the Amazon link for this. I paid cash for this. Well, I paid with a credit card on Amazon. Uh, they're not a sponsor. That's just my personal, personal opinion. This is, I'm hoping what I think it is. I've ordered a handful of things. So if this is not it, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I can't hold <laughs> everything at once. Another wire. So a lot of the aftermarket electrical accessories for Honda Trail Cubs, CT125 is what everyone call them, uh, they use this style jumper connector, which goes in behind the headlight harness and allows you not to have to cut and splice anything. There's a bracket... There's a bracket. This must be the switch. Oh, the switch and the lights. 
Oh, oh yes. So these are fog lights that mount alongside your factory headlight. And yeah, so not much more to explain than that. Metal, metal casing, probably like a cast aluminum, just painted black. I like it. They come in two colors. They come in like a amber yellow, like a traditional old school fog light, or you can get them in LED white, like the crystal LED white that the same, it's the same color as the headlights. And I think the yellow would look cooler, but I don't think the displacement of light is going to be as good with a yellow one as compared to a white one. Uh, and alongside my headlights as it is, I wanted to keep all the colors the same. So we ordered white. Let's roll the bike over here and start putting it on. So trying to read these instructions. So removing the headlight, they're talking about pulling out these Phillips head screws located on either side of the light fixture itself. That will allow the light to kind of swing up and out. That's so you can get the electrical connectors to plug this aftermarket accessory in. Now, for the mounting portion, you can see the fork right there in this bracket, which is this guy. And it wants it, or it wants us to mount the light fixture to the very bottom screw. So I think I'm gonna do that first. I think that seems to be the easiest. The wire links are, or the wires are the same length for both lights. So it doesn't matter left or right. It also does not say left or right on the lights. So. They're gonna go right here, just like that. A little bit further out. Sweet. All right, I'm excited. Let's uh, let's plug these bad boys in. If you don't like the noise, I'm sorry. It's kind of hot today, and I didn't have the air on all day while I was at work, so it's uh, it's a little bit toasty in this house. Looks like it is a T5 or an Allen. The, the Allen branch head teeth is a five. That's what it is. So we're gonna pop these loose. This is threaded, so there's no nut on the back. That drops into your kitchen floor. So behind here is a tab on the fork itself that is threaded. So we we'll grab our light, and get one of our little Ziploc baggies. Open it up. There we go. It shows a spacer, which we're going to use. And then we have two different bolts. And uh, you've got one with a, uh, a nut, a washer, and a lock washer. This is the one that will hold the light fixture itself to the bracket. So what we're going to do is install the bracket itself. And going based on the instructions, you take the bracket, you put the bolt through it, it's going to face forward, and then you put your little washer you did right here. Yep, just like that. Now, it does not appear that they kept the same size, it just went down. Now probably like a four. Let's see. Yeah, so we've went down to a four. So let's line this back up in there. The hardware is pretty decent looking. And keep in mind we don't have to cinch that down all the way just yet. We can make some adjustments to the light and the pitch of them before we Tighten it on down all the way. I think I can still get the wrench in there. Mm. I'll probably turn the wrench and get it in there. That's a cool looking light. So now, we're gonna remove our our nut and all our hardware. I don't know if it wants it to go 
top up or the top down. Okay. They want us to send the hardware through from the top down. We're gonna hold our light in here. Put that in there. We're gonna put our washer, our lock washer. And then our nut, just like that. Oh yeah, that's snazzy. Let's move on. Let get this headlight off. It's gonna be a Phillips head. As I mentioned, we have one here. Pull it. And you have a corresponding Phillips head on the other side of the bike. Same place. So we're just going to go ahead and knock that off. That's all that holds this headlight in. So you can pull from the bottom up. And voila. One connector here. It's supposed to pinch it. Pull it off, but it ain't there. It goes. Okay. Voila. And there's our headlight covered in bugs. Set that down on the floor. Get you a better look inside the headlight area. This black connector right here is the one that our jumper harness is going to go through. Now, we're also going to be jumping a second harness through it for our, this, the cigarette lighter combo thing. Just wanted to make a note of that before I got ahead of myself. So you're going to be running two extra sets of wires and they'll connect together pretty easy push this clip in plug it grab our jumper harness notice these are the exact same harnesses one of them for the light and one of them for the phone charger so these guys just plugged together, male and female, if I can rotate it around, oh I got a little piece of plastic stuck in there, alright so you plug one in, and since we're doubling up on electronics, you're going to plug this guy in, and now we're going to plug this one in, and we're going to figure out how to tuck all this in behind there or you could always jump her off of one of these wires that's also an option on the table too i don't know what the hardware kit that they included has going on with it so we'll see but anyway let me start figuring out how i'm going to tuck this we'll be right back and we're back ladies and gentlemen so after about i don't know 10 minutes of feeling kind of stupid Trying to read this wiring diagram and figuring out what type of conglomeration of bull crap I'm putting together on this bike. I finally got everything figured out. So you've got a you've got your switch that comes through and you send the brown to the black to the three prong uh, female connector that's going to your first set of orange jumpers. The blue wire from the switch goes to the red wire which goes out to your light. The black wire from the light also goes to the little black wire and the brown wire goes in the same connector somehow that makes the switch work and the black one goes to the red which goes to the first part of the jumper harness when you put all that together you end up with light I don't know if you can tell or not but the indicator also lights up to let you know that the lights are on when you activate them so that's pretty cool uh, you have to put all the butt connect the bolts. You have to put all the butt connectors together yourself, and I think that's a pain in the butt. I really would have paid another five dollars for someone else 
in Thailand to go ahead and put that together so that I didn't have to. I really don't see how that saved that much money, but apparently it did. So anyway, now let's just make this prettier and put the rest of this on. All right, so everything is all wired back up now in here. All of our connectors are put together. All I gotta do now is plug the headlight into the back of the headlight housing itself. And I hope I've got everything squished to the center enough and pushed back that I'm gonna have the room to put the headlight back in there. So we shall see. All right, so headlight back together. And got everything lined back up. For cable management for the time being, it's all just tucked back in here. I might shorten these wires in the future, but I also don't want to, because if I remove these from the bike in the future for some reason, then I could always put them to use somewhere else. And if I cut the sh cable short, I'd have to extend them, depending on the application. So I think I'm just gonna leave them exactly the way they are. It's all black down in here, so you can't really see it. We also went ahead and wired the USB port up while we were in there, same two wires, black, red, into the two connectors that we put in. So with the key on, our cigarette lighter comes on, lights up blue, same as the gauge cluster. And then for the switch itself, when sitting on the bike, I don't have a lot of thumb space, and I'm gonna put the bark busters on this bike, and those clamp right here, which means you have to scoot your mirror over, which probably means I have to relocate the phone holder to this, which is the handlebar brace, and that nut's loose. Let me tighten that up. But yeah, so these controls move in a little bit. It's a very thin piece that goes here. Same for this side. So for the time being, it's down here. Uh, you don't really want to put it on the left side because that's where your throttle is. And so you're not, you don't have a lot of room to reach, maintain throttle and flip a switch. Not quickly, especially if you're going in and out of traffic. However, you can keep your hand, yeah, you can keep your hand on this, keep your throttle up. And you can momentarily let go here, to kick the switch on, kick it off. So, not the easiest, but we shall see. Possibly, once I get the bark busters on, if I do move the phone holder somewhere else, I, I can put it where the phone holder is up here. And once again, without cutting any length off the wire, that's gonna give me plenty of room to do so. But for now, that's what it's doing. So when it gets dark outside, we'll take it outside and see how they look. Also, when you cut the key switch off, the USB charger also turns off. So behind me, Cody is working on taking off his headlight so that we can wire up his uh, USB charger as well. And he also got his phone holder in today so we can install those. Our center racks came in yesterday. We went ahead and put those on. Will has the Moto Skill brand. It was on his bike when he bought it. We went the cheaper route. We're just gonna mount the leather zip bag right here anyway so you're not going to see it but it does look cool for now and give you a little bit of storage space somewhere to clamp stuff to so we're going to do cody's bike and then we'll go outside when it gets dark so it's not actually nighttime it's actually early in the morning but we got all of our lights installed let's put this thing up on the stand our stock headlight on low beam there's our high beam and here are our aftermarket lights so they don't project far that's what the stock headlight is for they light up the immediate area in front of hold on, and around the handlebars see that just kind of fills in the blanks. Because that long projection of light is still gonna come from the main headlight itself. headlight and then the low beam so low 
beam. High beam. Side lights. Oh yeah. I like that a lot. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put this back up so I can go get ready for work. And uh, I got another video coming up soon. Hopefully on this. Uh, brought this home from the scrapyard the other day. It was too nice to pass up. Um, not going to be a whole big series on it because I didn't film bringing it home or beginning to work on it really but that's going to be a pretty sweet machine but anyway yeah I'm I'm pretty tickled with those with those lights and also while we're here um a friend of mine red shout out to red if you're watching this video on this video on the trail in 25 um those lights and stuff you can find them on amazon i'll throw you a link down below but anyway my buddy red just went and bought him one of these trail 125s after he saw my last video with the trail 125 and i don't blame him i think that's awesome dude i'm i'm happy for you if you're ever out this way you need to holler at us so we can go ride sometime but here it is i'm right in the light Like I said, I'm going to go get ready so I can go to work. Thank y'all for coming with me to install those lights. And I guess we'll do something else in the future and we'll film that too. Thanks for watching.